As Better Call Saul wraps up its fifth season, I figured let's talk about one of the most interesting mysteries surrounding the show. It's intros. Yes, I know, people often overlook TV show intros, but Better Call Saul uses theirs in a very interesting way, so let's talk about it. For one, Better Call Saul has at least 10 variations of their intro, and surprise surprise, there are only 10 episodes per season. Either those intros were made in that quantity on purpose, or it was just a mere coincidence. The Better Call Saul intros themselves depict numerous things. Uh, if we you know, were to look at the content at surface value, the introductions showcase a coffee mug breaking on the floor, a car driving, to matches getting flushed away. I believe that these intros aren't there just to look nice. I believe there's a method to the madness. Let's dive in a bit, but first, I do want to mention that for this video, I did a little digging to see if anyone else talked about this topic. The only credible source I could find talking about its intros, besides the fact that it looks like crap, is the fandom website. The fandom website only talks about the show's intro very briefly by saying, the title sequence of Better Call Saul is different for each episode of the season, with decreasing video quality as the series progresses. Most of them feature archive footage seen in Breaking Bad, but the lady putting out the cigarette and World's Greatest Lawyer sequences were specifically shot. So they pointed out that each episode has a different intro. Yes, duh. But why? Is there an order? Is it random? We'll find out in a bit. One piece of information that leads to the intro of the show having meaning is when fandom points out that the show's intro quality decreases the further Jimmy goes down the road of Saul Goodman. And, there are only 2 out of 10 intros that do not use Breaking Bad footage, which is the mug breaking on the ground, and the cigarette being put out. Still think I'm reaching here? I could be, but look at this. Every single Better Call Saul finale includes the classic mug falling intro, as well as a flashback to Jimmy and another character interacting. Also, recall that the mug crashing sequence is one of the two intros that do not use Breaking Bad footage. It's safe to say that the mug crashing onto the floor in Jimmy's office symbolizes the world of poo poo that is going to fall onto his life in the coming episode. As far as the flashbacks go, they help to call back memories Jimmy had with his brother Chuck, his friend Marco, him getting his lawyer license, etc. etc. At the time of writing this, I do not know if season 5's finale will follow the same structure. We'll have to find out. My last point here is one that I've mentioned earlier. There are 10 variations of the intro in 10 episodes. With that, each episode has a specific intro in a specific order. Every episode 1 has the fake Statue of Liberty. Every episode 2 has the Lawyer Up license plate. Every episode 3 has the Ashtray intro. So on and so on until we hit, as we know, with the finale. The mug crashing down on the floor is for every episode 10, aka every season finale. For right now, it would take too much time to dive into each intro and talk about what each one means for the episode. That would be a whole separate video. If you are interested in seeing that video, leave a like and a comment down below. Better Call Saul is regarded and should be regarded as some of the best television we've seen on TV, period. The fact that it has lived up to the high standards of its predecessor, Breaking Bad, and in some ways topped it, is pretty amazing. It's no wonder that the writers, directors, and editors put so much emphasis onto a 10 second horribly shot introduction for the show's episode. And I'm looking forward to the coming episodes of this great show. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully you learned something from this. Uh, a quick aside, if you want more Better Call Saul slash Breaking Bad content, I have a drama series titled Captain Cook that is a fan spin-off series about Jesse Pinkman's life before Walter White came in the picture. It's not the best, but it should satisfy your needs. If that interests you, click the title card above. Lastly, I have a short film coming out soon titled Kennedy Ave. It's about two teens that try to find their missing friend. If that interests you, click the title card above. But other than that, be sure to leave a like on the video. Comment, leave a comment. If you leave a comment, subscribe if you're new between me, you, and Vince Gilligan. Have a wonderful day, and peace out.